I'm still on my way to Lisbon and I'm gonna try to stick on the uh, on the off-road again today all right fueled up a little bit myself and now it's back to work what do you got for us Ted as that car was backing up uh, dip incoming in 15 With all these bags they seem strategically placed what is that nitro Nitrato, de ammonio. Or has somebody been losing, slowly losing their cargo? Nitrate. Look at that. Look at that. Maybe it's for the trees? No, they don't want these trees to grow more. They're a pest. <laughs> Over there. Interdesting. Anybody have a clue? Well, let us know. We climb some uh, new, more, way more rockier terrain. serve para quê? Esses? Para alimentar as plantas. Ah, é mesmo para alimentá-las? Sim, sim. Ah, eu pensava que estas eram uma peste cá em Portugal. É uma peste, mas precisam também de produto para ser... Ah, precisam? E isso é para ser cortadas estas, ou não? Não, ainda são pequenas. Mas vão ser cortadas um dia? Sim, sim. Ah, então isto é mais para uma empresa para crescê-las? Sim, sim. Está bem. Não, não podia ter sido um caminhão <risos> que deixou que los é adubo. É, Deixa-se cair, mas é de propositadamente. Sim, sim, estou a ver, estou a ver. Andamos a, a, a adubá-las, a tratar delas para elas crescerem. Sim, está, está bem. Uhum. Olha, agora já sei. Muito bom aproveito. Ah, obrigado. Nice none. <risos> e bom trabalho, pá. Tchau, Adar. So these are commercial trees that the terraces is commercial uh, tree thing uh, tree thing specifics Pedro uh, you know it is for uh, for business for growing trees grow trees every day yeah but with that nitrate it does and these are eucalyptus tree and uh, they're pretty much uh, why I said they were a pest it's because they grow like a mofo. They came from Uzi, I might have mentioned it before. And uh, for the paper industry, they grow much faster than uh, the native trees. Whoa, tree. And, um, ooh, whoo -hoo, slippery rock. Um, yeah, but here they're growing them on purpose. What's that, Tat? You want me good to go out there? Baby, baby, the slope from hell. Why are you being like this? Nah, Tat wants to go down here. Well, it's not as bad as that big as rocky slope. Well, I was saying earlier, talking about the rear brake, this is typically the kind of terrain you manage with the rear brake. You know, the ups and downs compensate. I had a lot of that in Mongolia. I really got into that out there. What that? Hola, ponies. Hola, perrito. I'd like to ride a horse one day. As in, have them. I think we might be on the Via Algarvia. Oh, Via Alentejana now. I'm seeing the signs with the red and white again. But uh, right now I'm on, on about 48 horses. Hey Atlas. My pony is Atlas. Rider, my pony. You know, this is the kind of place you wanna, ah, uh, 
even go even harder right but with suspension the stock suspension uh -uh. on alp i got the progressive springs makes it makes a huge difference sometimes i'm still amazed how i managed to nurture my suspension for central asia and mongolia i picked the wrong side haven't i i have As I was saying, that's how you lose them. Doing Almost lost it again. <laughs> it's all about footing, man. Almost lost it twice to footing. And you know it. That's why I'm <laughs> babying around there. Wow. And the eucalyptoy forest. Check this out. Oh, Atlas. You beautiful, dirty girl. Let's go look at the spooky abandoned houses in the eucalypti forest. Look at that. It's got the trees growing here. That is dope. You see this often in interior design. Yeah, we just want trees in our house, bro. What's in here? Ah, bush. Not a big fan. Not a big fan of of the prickly bush as house decoration. Ow. No buena. Ooh, could have been in here. Maybe uh, sleeping quarters for, yeah, for old school forest uh, loggers. Hey. Also trees in the living room and prickly, but they've upgraded it with the bobby. More of a stove. Open hand. Jesus, what is this in English? There's the chimney. It's the fireplace, that's it. We got a window in this room. I actually get some sunlight, I like it. A bit of grass. And in the final room. Oh, this has potential here. It still has one of the beams, cross beams on the roof. Just cut a few trees and drop them on there. You can build a roof if you want here. Or just use these. No window though. Yeah, so maybe for the old loggers of back in the day. I said loggers, not the vloggers. Oh look, a font. And water comes from here. Nice drinkable rusty water. It seems to be a posu, a pit, or is it the old one here? The water. Probably, right? All right. If I'd stumble on these, like, and it's almost dark, again, they're a lot eerier, especially if you're camping near it. I had that in Chile at the Luna uh, Valle, Valle de Luna. Oh, you guys think this is a good idea? Just chuck logs in there. Not for me, though. Nuh-uh. The last thing you want is slippery ass logs. your front wheel on one of those just like that you're busy picking up your bike on the Vamstedt to the right for a second to analyze for something that I just came it was all good but that freaked me out for a second that bush didn't have enough sight and right in front of me deep ass rut and my biggest thing with ruts is, you know, when they climb, when your front wants to climb the wall and that's when you wipe out, but it didn't really happen. So these are the kind of learning moments. See, that's my front wheel. That's the TK, it was on the edge and it dropped in there still. No biggie, with a rock, boom. Okay. See, these things are always good to know, but in my mind, it still could have ended in a different way, but it didn't feel like that at all. Boom. Also, I know momentum, but still, 
those are nasty little things. Oh, look at this beautiful angle. <laughs> I actually put some of, that, some of that aluminum foil on here. Yeah, it doesn't really stick. All right, lesson's over. Perigo de queda, aberturas no solo, risk of falling open hole, danger to shoot, overture dans le sol, loch in bodem, there's a hole, there's a hole in the ground, oh, you mean that, that tank, I'm expecting like a hole to the depths of hell, all the way down to China, reminds me of Australia, South Australia and the Opal Mines, they just dig these holes down, but it's all scattered around uh, Coober Pedy. Well, there's also warning signs. Watch out! Holes! Definitely boggier uh, uh, out here. I've ridden for a couple of sections already. Of course, less sunshine up here. It's not Algarve anymore. El Wollantaj. To a lot more rainfall and we're leaving like the high hills to the lower hills the rolling hills so there's more flat sections like this take a little detour screw it To between the little hill valleys. Looking for the Shire. Perritos. <laughs> that goes. Yeah, you gotta love this fence, right? <laughs> Is that a uh, sausage in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Eshoris. <laughs> mm, I think uh, we reached peak for Tutugadum. Mm -hmm. This is the one that we have in the Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Olha, se alguém perguntar alguma coisa, eu não, eu estava na quarentena. Estava em recolho, está bem? Está <risos> malta, bom trabalho, tchau. Top of the hill. Oh, there's a big, whoa, raffinaderai. Petroleum and a power plant. Damn, that's a massive industrial place. What is that? Is that Sinj? Whoa, soft sand, stand up. And a big, big puddle. Keep going, keep going. That was elegant. <laughs> oh, my crotch is wet. Oh dear. Oh, looky here. I've, it's been increasing, but we got a proper stint of soft sand now. Thank you, Mongolia, for all you taught me. go faster to properly navigate these. There we go. Root. Ah, shit, my eyes. Wah. Eyes on fuck, 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 fuck. I was almost breaking here. <laughs> All good. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens when you slow down in that stuff. <laughs> Always takes some time to get acquainted with the really deep stuff again.
interesting road, very brutish, very sovietico. Chunky chain, you suffer, don't you? I know you do. bits of all of this. It's got a lot thicker here. And a lot more intricate the route. I don't know if all this is necessary. It's pretty fun. Whoa. Hello ravine. Throttle up. Wow roots. Root steps. Oh don't plant your front. Sail away, sail away, because this is just like sailing on top. Sail away, sail. I don't like rots. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Sail away, sail. I haven't done rut riding like this in a while. Last time was Bolivia. 
through it. Okay. Okay, can't get stuck here. Why did I say that? Just got to keep momentum, bro. Easy peasy. It's those little deceptive little things. Sometimes these drops. Gotta keep that throttle up, bro. <laughs> Where am I? Hard work. Oh, Ted. Don't slow down, I know, but it's a lot of work to go the wrong way. Man, you got everything in Portugal, eh? When it comes to the off road. shadowy ruts types of terrains give you new ta challenges like the mountains don't tend to have this well maybe when you're in Bolivia and whatnot sure but yeah the mountains have this, their own technicalities and then the plains the hilly plains you can get stuff like this stive a little bit like that Lone Sedina I showed you in the Netherlands <laughs> We're not making time like this though. What an idyllic section of forest, eh? This is bloody lovely. Still sandy bit though. trees that uh, can make it tricky you know you saw how much space I need to make a save right to throttle it out you don't have that here you get a tree turn left yep how long are you gonna keep me in the sand Ted I got time uh, to make shaking around with no weight on them yeah that's the way to do it especially in a place like this you get two atlas <laughs> oh. so we're out of the sand by the looks of it but Tet will come up with something else I reckon ooh, biggest rocks we're in the last hour of this for today before I gotta hit the boo roads to Lisbon This is not really a time efficient road, it kind of zigzags in the <laughs> back and forth. Uh-oh, 
It's that kind of place again. Dun 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 da da dun 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 da 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 Sorry, gotta keep rotting. And so the fair maiden was left alone once again playing her lute. Yeah, the cork trees. So you can see it. They remove it. And they make cork <laughs> with that. Any Tuga who has more expertise on that, let us know in the comments. Like, why don't they remove more of the tree higher up? Or is it it's just more work people can't reach? Or it's the healthiest part of the tree that has a grow back? I don't know. Let us know. I'm not too happy with uh, where this is going. <laughs> Here's a creek. <laughs> That's glistening, boy. The road is the river. There it is. There's a creek. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, now I'm going to clean up all my adventure riding mud. Oh, no. Horses. One horsepower, that's dope. But uh, yeah, gotta have a horse later. Note to self, I think uh, we're coming to the end of the off-road for the day, unfortunately. And don't get sure. And don't. It almost looked like a sheep. But yeah, like I said, my mission is Lisbon. And once I hit the road, it's still about... Whoa. Um, an hour and a half. Two tops. Oh, there's the main road. So since we're getting back on tarmac, activating boo mode. You done real good, Atlas. Real good. Let's go. Boom! But it's what it is. Olá, Jesus! Tudo bom? At least the we get the chance today to see the most glorious bridge in the world, as you know, here into Lisbon over the Tagus River. Beautiful sunset. Much better during the day. Very fun uh, <laughs> uh, ride. Hectic at times, but very good. I'm knackered. And a few Tugas might be wondering, Pedro, do you didn't go to Sagres in Nistroia? You know, I was on a mission to also get here on time. So there's that. We did the tent. Quinta boas curvas de off-road. Bye, peeps. Catch you in the next one. Ciao.